uh, it's uh, 5 o'clock central now. I guess uh, it's time to uh, kick off our last session of the day. So is, is all you okay? I mean, it seems like uh, a little bit of echo here. Coming through good here at NTSA. Okay, all right, cool. All right, so uh, in this session we'll talk about uh, parallel debugging techniques and, uh, and a basic introduction to uh, total view, the, the debugger. Uh, so before we go in there, uh, there's a web page that, uh, well, if you have don't downloaded the slides, if you go to near the very end of it, there's a link to this website. So basically this is where, you know, uh, this is a web, web page to put together. Uh, if you can grab that link and copy and paste into your uh, Browser, so this is where uh, you know all the presentations, and uh, you can find the exercise, the files file for the exercise there, and uh, well, I, I put together some instruction on how to compile a program, and uh, basic instructions for how to run the program, and how to run Total View, uh, which we will talk about today, and DDT, which then uh, Carlos from Tech will talk about tomorrow. Uh, so. Uh, you might want to check this uh, this web page out. So uh, now let's uh, switch back to the slides. All right. So here's a uh, simple outline. So this is what we're gonna do uh, in the next an hour, an hour and a half. Uh, a little bit overview on uh, the parallel debugging uh, as a whole. So uh, uh, challenges when you debug a parallel program and uh, what kind of tools are available and uh, some general uh, strategy when, when you uh, debug a parallel program. And uh, the, the second part would be just, you know, uh, to get familiar with total view. Um, so the, the original plan, I guess, is to, uh, for you guys to play along, I mean, uh, using the, uh, you know, hand-on exercise, but um, it's kind of, uh, probably kind of hard to, uh, you know, get everybody, for everybody to get a, you know, a total view session and, and you know try to load the program there and run so uh, I guess what I'll do is just uh, I will you know uh, run the the you know the exercise problem and basically show you guys how to do things with total view and you know maybe later on you can you can play uh, with yourself so um, all right now uh, well debugging okay so uh, whenever I write a program uh, the possibility is you know uh, have bugs in it. So for parallel programs, there's no exception. Uh, so parallel programs, you can have all the bugs you could have in the serial program, right? So you know, you can have uh, you know the memory problem if you have improper uh, pointer usage, or you know, you can have uh, you know step errors like stepping over array bound and all stuff like that, right? Uh, in addition to those bugs, that is uh, you know possible for serial programs. Uh, parallel programs uh, could have these bugs as well. Okay, so if you are new to MPI or OpenMP, then you probably you know uh, your call to MPI you probably miss you know a uh, 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 miss a mandatory call or you know you have mismatched you know uh, parameters like the tag to a message you send from one process to another, something like that, right? So the, the, these, this is one of the bugs you could have with, uh, with a parallel program. And also, you know, for most of the parallel programs, uh, you basically you have the whole problem domain and you know, decompose it and so into uh, you know, pieces. And so each thread or each process can have, uh, to, to work, uh, can have a piece to work on, right? So you have to do this uh, properly. Okay, so uh, you know, I have to divide the the the, the whole workload uh, properly. So basically, you know, get everybody work on something it, it, it's supposed to. And uh, well, for parallel program, had could have the synchronization problem, all right? So uh, either this either you know cause your pro uh, your program to hang, or sometimes it causes serious you know uh, load balancing uh, issue. And uh, also hidden relation. So uh, it's it's possible that you know uh, you write a program. So this is uh, probably uh, you know more likely to, to happen with uh, with OpenMP programs. So uh, you know you have a parallel region, and uh, it looks like it's a parallel, but uh, you know in reality 
it, it might have some region that is, you know, so each thread executes that region, you know, in turn. So basically you have a, you know, hidden serialization problem. So this would not cause your program to crash maybe, but, you know, still you have uh, probably a uh, low balancing issue there or the, you know, the, the power the speed up is not what you, uh, you know, expect it to, to have. Okay. So um, these are the type of the bugs in addition to, you know, what, whatever it can have with a server program when we're dealing with uh, parallel programs. Okay. So uh, here's, uh, you know, the debugging essentials, uh, uh, probably couldn't see it uh, very clearly, but this is, uh, there's this article here, uh, the essential, uh, essentials of debugging. Okay, so this is uh, a, sum a summarization of what to do when you debug a program. Okay, so your, your program either crashes or, or a house or, you know, it, you know, whatever, it doesn't do what, what it's supposed to do. Okay, so that's when you, you, you think you have a bug in your program or, you know, multiple bugs. So first step is to reproduce the problem. LSU is reconnecting. Patience, please. So, where where was I, and when when I was cut out? Okay, so product. Okay, well, I, I mean that that is what happened with all other guys, right? Then. Yeah, but uh, so. Okay, so so we'll restart the slides, okay? Uh, well, we, we didn't lose much, I guess. Uh, okay, so reproduce a problem, okay? So just find a scenario, you know, that where, you know, it kind of crashed every time or something like that, okay? So reproduce a problem and then try to reduce it to its very essence, okay? So uh, you probably know that, okay, so when I write this type of simulation, it crashes. Uh, could you reduce it to say a combination of a few parameters okay would give you the problem okay so uh and then the next step is given these evidence okay given this situa situation could you come up with some hypothesis of what might go wrong right and then you know you experiment with solutions okay so for the last two steps you may need to, uh, you know, switch, you know, back and forth, forth, okay? So come up with a few hypotheses and test them, you know, so rule out the possibility. So basically it's like, you know, it's like a detective's work, right? I mean, you, you, collect, uh, you collect evidences and clues and then basically, you know, come up with the possible situations and, uh, you know, and, and, and try, try to rule out all, you know, try to root things out and then finally, you know, hopefully you, you got, you know, where, uh, you want to be okay. So <clears throat> this is essential for debugging. This is this apply basically applies to probably you know all the programs. And so the challenges in uh, parallel program okay when when it comes to debugging. So to reproduce the problem okay. So this probably true for uh, a zero program, but might not be that case for parallel programs because it could. Uh, you know, it, because of this, uh, you could have the indeterminism problem with a parallel program, right? So uh, it's, it's, well, it's probably not that common, but, you know, there are definitely situations where, you know, you probably probably only uh, crash once out of, you know, 10 runs or something like that. So, you know, to produ produce a problem itself becomes non-trivial, okay? And uh, for re reduction, uh, you want to you know, if you have, uh, say, a job crashes with 1,000 cores, okay, could you, 
you know, reduce it to like, you know, if you, you run it with four cores, uh, does it crash again? Something like that, something like that. So, so it, it you know, it is, uh, it depends on if you can reduce it to a level that is manageable when, when you debug your program, okay? And uh, so deduction, when you, so this is where you, you know, try the formula hypothesis about what the problem would be, okay? So basically you have more than one processes and thread at, you know, one, one dimension or maybe more dimensions to, uh, you know, to your problem. Right, so you need to consider uh, concurrent and dependent program instances. So it's not only one line of execution. Okay, so it, you know, if, if, it, if, if there's some problem, say, with, with process number three, it might be caused by, you know, something when it, you know, it's not, not it's, its own problem. It's, it might, you know, relate it to other processes or threats. Okay. And uh, experimentation. So, uh, like uh, you know, we just mentioned in the previous slide. So you have hypothesis, you root it out. So basically, it's kind of uh, what we call cyclo cyclic debugging. Okay. So you come up with some some uh, assumption and root it out and and, and and go on. Okay. So this could be costly for uh, you know uh, for parallel programs, especially if you cannot reduce it to say a, a small uh, number of core counts. Okay, so this, these are the challenges that um, we face when uh, debugging a, a parallel program. Okay, uh, so here's a little example. So this is uh, of what kind of bugging you can have uh, with, a, with a parallel program. This is uh, probably not a very good example because um, it's not that, well, the program is not, you know, it's not a, what do you commonly do with a parallel program. But, uh, but it's just you know a little example uh, to show how nasty uh, when when it comes to uh, you know parallel program, especially when when it has large core count. Okay, so it's a it's a Fortran code. Uh, normally, it, it, well, basically it just uh, well uh, most likely you have a fixed problem size and it divides the size by say the number of threads or number of processes you have, and then you know each process or thread has a certain number of iterations to take care of. But uh, in this case. Uh, the, 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 the total size of the problem is not uh, fixed, okay? It depends on the number of, of cores. So I, STA equal to, you know, the rank times the chunk size, and uh, I, N equal to uh, the rank plus one times the chunk size, okay? So basically it's, it depends, so uh, each process have a fixed, a fixed number of, of things to do, okay? So, uh, now the chunk size A is fixed, is, is 1,000 by 1,000, okay? So what could be the problem with a large 